Excellent, the video did take. Though bad news is, I forgot to save at that point, so I had to do that area all over again. Fortunately, there's a saying that you do better while you're not recorded than you are recorded, so I really didn't have much problem problems, but still. If you notice any continuity errors at this point, that's reason. Bafo cell? Oh well. So let's check the items, see what we have. Okay. Don't really need that. Okay, so the business department store is now open thanks to um, the guy finding his contact lens, so... Because you can't have a department store open without a person missing a contact lens, I guess. So we're just going to sell stuff we don't need anymore. Might have. Okay, is that everything here? Well, I never seem to use the spiral sponge anyway, so... No, he just played the Earthbound. That's it. Surely things don't happen in Denver that there happen that happens in Earthbound, despite everything else following the path these kids following the path of Ness and the crew in Earthbound, so why not? Yeah, that made much That line made did not make any sense at all. But basically John's Journey is the same as Ness's Ness's journey, only in the actual United States. But the good thing about it is that apparently, no, no, that can't be it. Only I, not sure. Okay. 
I'm not sure if John played Earthbound before or not, but one thing's for sure, I have. And I see all the similarities. Of course, it's a ROM hack. But it's just humorous to think that. Oh, no. Yo yo's. And for some reason, um, John developed a um, p uh, obsession with Pikachu, so he bought many Pulse Pikachus just for this. Just that because. I guess because he was obsessed with the newest. with the. I guess he's obsessed with Pokemon, I guess. Let's just leave it at that. And so, and an eight hundred and fifty shotgun. I'm sure that shotguns are a little bit more. I think, aren't shotguns a little bit more? Um. Expensive in actual pawn shops. Okay, the price of food goes up, but the price of guns go down. The world of John Bound, ladies and gentlemen. And for some reason, um, Joe has developed an EMP grenade um, obsession, too. I'm sure it's a little bit more productive than um, John's current um, Pikachu obsession, so... So let's just exit the department store. Yeah, but before we do that... Let's deposit our money back in there. Okay, we'll exit the department store. Sarah, try not to get yourself kidnapped. Darn. Haha, <laughs> deflected. Yes, the Telsa Parish Soul, the game's Franklin badge, probably is more useful due to the fact that, um, what is it? I don't think she's in this department store. Yep, due to the fact that almost every enemy seems to have attacks that are... That is meant to, um... That is meant to be a little bit more powerful than what's in the conventional game, like... And cheap, like that, um, lightning attack. The Telsa Parasol or the Franklin Blast is much more useful in this type of game. T 
two Pikachus killed and um and one um round. Probably that has to be that has to be a new record. But still one left. Probably now's a good time to PK hack them up a bit. Speak in complete sentences, moron. So, Algemo, are they actually aliens or aliens in another work or some other work? Oh well. This is a job for EMP grenades. Very smooth, John Joe. You decide just to uh, leave J Sarah at the for the kidnapper for some coffee and Twinkies. Very smooth. say. Where, where were you whenever all those mall rats were here? Oh. Oh, how can that happen to you? Otherwise, I would have saw you. Jeez, these people are cowards. You'd think that at least the men in black looking operative would have done something. I guess, um, at this point, um, John mourns the loss of his, um, toy Pikachus, but he figures, hey, he's at a dark department store and he has over tens of thousands of dollars. Why not buy a new one? Don't you have any sentimental value, John? Do you?
Okay. Inventories are good. Let's continue. Mugging. Like it's just so normal. Oh, it must have been. this slash now he's not dead he's just sleeping Well, actually, that thing probably is true evil, just... Sleep in the back of the road. Yeah, very smooth. People are probably freaked about you. So let's just see what's behind this cafe. So we examine the tiny door. We're in the Gmo's, Gmo place. And the Furby Stature. All she does is basically steal her items. Like the Crystal, like the crystal Pepsi. I probably should have given that to Sarah. Oh well. Gmo is the headquarter of the Ajimo aliens, I guess. Though it does beg the question on how they're able to speak English, it's, it, other than the fact of the whole yes or no thing. you could say that.
thought you already stole a crystal Pepsi. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, so it does. Yeah, I think I've probably established that before. So what's in here? A bottle to him. Hmm, sounds tasty. Probably, definitely a lot easier than the counterpart in Earthbound, where it counts down and gives you a very nasty attack. We don't like algemophobe. Oh. Why aren't you arresting us now? You mean like Stone Edge, I guess. Oh, boo-hoo. It's those with power that gets the evading rights. Let me thank you. I think I will. 